Okay, in our first lecture of post-harvest physiology at the graduate level, I would like to begin with some important concepts that will be detailed later on. First, let me give you an introduction um, um, to begin by defining post-harvest physiology. It is a pragmatic science concerned with physiological and biochemical changes take place during maturation, ripening, and um, senescence. It is a pragmatic, i.e. practical, since over 90% of this science is based on the findings of research worldwide. Maturation, ripening, senescence are referring to fresh fruits, vegetables, and cut flowers. Do not be concerned with um, the terms here. I will explain them in details during this course. There is, however, a very relevant question. Post-harvest physiology and plant physiology, aren't they the same? What is the difference otherwise. At the beginning, scientists thought that they are the same. Not much improvement, though, was achieved. But once they realized that there are differences, this science was developed very fast. To point out one of the main differences, let us look at transpiration and respiration. When fresh produce are on the mother plant, they will not suffer from weight loss due to transpiration and or respiration simply because they will be compensated by the supply from the mother plant. Once detached, i.e. harvested, they are on their own and no compensation source is available. Uh, with the exception of cut flowers that will be discussed later. That Thus, the result is shriveling and wilting, loss of nutrients, deterioration, and finally, death of plant or plant part, whether it is a fruit, vegetable, cut flowers, etc. So, what to do? Here comes the rule of post-harvest physiology dealing with technologies to maintain high quality produce and reduce post-harvest losses through um, many procedures to control and manipulate the environmental factors such as temperature, relative humidity, um, atmospheric composition, etc. And sometimes genetic engineering is used for this kind of manipulation. This was a brief introduction to uh, this course and hopefully I will see you next time.